Yeah, Kyrie, what was most glaring about, you know, the start of this game that contributed to a, a 20 point hole? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Just coming out aggressive and making them feel us. You know, a lot of teams come out very comfortable against us, and then that's kind of you know, the feel of the rest of the game is that we're playing catch up, and you know, it's just not a way to play as a competitor. You're just always down, and though we have the talent to come back, and you know, it's just not a way to play. You know, we want to dominate on both ends of the floor, especially on the defensive end, to make them uncomfortable. That way, we put ourselves in a better position. So, yeah, just starting off the game better. I don't think we've talked to you since the the finger injury. What is it like managing out there? How much you know pain and discomfort are you, are you having to push through? Oh man, it sucks, man. It's just you know shooting very well in the season. We want to continue so, and you know you just have different hiccups that happen. You know, especially on my shooting hand. Uh, you know, it's uncomfortable, but at the same time, I don't want to make any excuses. I'm out there put myself out there, do a lot of treatment on it. And, you know, we're down a few players, obviously, as well. So you just want to go out there and compete uh, and worry about the pain later. But, you know, doing the best I can. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Kerry. Um, are you noting, um, I don't know, a common thread? I mean, a lot of the games that you guys kind of come out and spot a big lead or maybe don't have the quite a defensive intensity that you're looking for. A lot of them are against the quote lesser teams, maybe losing team, team without a great record. Are you noting that commonality and how concerning is that mindset was? Well, I think you guys noted enough for all of us. So I don't think I need to note it. It is pretty, it's pretty glaring when, you know, game to game and especially when the records are, you know, being used as kind of a reason on why we're not going out there and playing hard. You know, I, I don't, I don't accept that, and I don't think our team accepts it uh, as a whole. You know, obviously, we don't want that to be on, um, you know, kind of what teams think about us, and we're seeing it day in and day out where guys, teams are coming in and punching us in the mouth early, and we're playing catch up, and it happens to be against the the guys with the least best records, and. We got to call it for what it is. So we got to fix that, you know, and, and that takes a maturity uh, that takes accountability and, and that takes, um, you know, realization on what we need to do moving forward. So every day, every day, guys. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Hey, Kyrie. Um, Steve said that his message was that this comes down to pride and who do you guys want to be as a team? So I guess, is this who you want to be as a team? And if not, then then what is it that you're you're working towards? Well, Malika, I think you can answer the first question yourself. Um, I, I, I don't think that we go out every single day uh, of our lives and sacrifice the time in order to be average at anything. You know, I know you don't wake up. I know no one here on this call wakes up to be average at anything that they do. Uh, and we look very average, you know, and we have the talent that the eye test presents that we should be dominating. Uh, you know, we have the experience in, in terms of some of our guys that have been through certain things, circumstances to be able to battle through. And we're dealing with a lot of the reality that we're putting this together on the fly. Like we we are the team that the NBA put the most games on. We're, we're the team that gets someone taken out during COVID, during the games. We're the team that has to deal with the refs. We're, we're the team that is literally battling against so many odds that at this point, it is, it's not even a reason to continue to comment on it. They are what they are. And as a warrior that I am and that the energy that I have alongside my teammates, we just have to turn that corner. And we haven't done it yet, but we will. And I'm telling you, the league's going to be on notice when that happens. So just got to take it day by day. Thank you. Bruce Beck with NBC New York. Hey, Kyrie, what is the challenge of, of trying to be consistent as a team when there's so many things going on around you, COVID protocols, injuries, mm -hmm. uh, left and right, there's a lot There's a lot happening there. I don't want to lead you, I don't want to lead you as, as the guy who's asking the question, but I just want your perspective. I mean, <laughs> my perspective is, 
just continue to do the things that we can control. And Steve is right. It takes pride. It takes effort. You know, it, it takes a will uh, night to night to get up for the guys that you're playing against. It, we all know when we play against the best, you're going to see a great game because it's easy to get up for those things. But the consistency of a lot of the great teams that have gone on to win championships is they do it on the road, they do it at home, they do it against the good teams, and they do it against the average teams. So until we can develop that goal-oriented mindset that we want to continue to be great every single night, and it's a collection of individuals doing it as a team, then we'll be great. Until then, we'll, we'll just look like great guys that are look good on paper and still haven't figured out yet. Um, but I'm, I'm confident and I'm patient. And like I said, I don't take any day for granted um, having this group and being able to develop uh, for the long term. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Kyrie, in the second half, you guys had multiple chances to you, you got rid of the lead and you got down to one possession or so. And then you just couldn't couldn't get over that hump, I guess. Just what, what do you think held you guys back from from making that one final leap when you guys run those runs? Well, well usually when we're going against the teams that we're down against, uh, or excuse me, when we're down uh, and we're down in a hole, guys get comfortable, start making shots that they don't normally make. You watch film and they're not making like. A lot of the guys did not have 10 plus points against any other team, you know, but they are the Detroit Pistons, the same Detroit Pistons that took the Lakers to double OT the other night. You know, we have to give respect to them in terms of what they're capable of doing. Uh, but I always come on here and I tell you guys, teams start doing the craziest things against us. And that's just the tale of the rest of the season. Uh, and we just got to be able to combat that. It is what it is. You know, guys are going to have career nights and try to score everything against us and do everything because everyone's watching. You know, no one wants to see us be on that level. And I think that we have to develop that. We are that team that has to battle through it. So we'll combat it. Last question, Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Kyrie, in your experience, is defensive intensity and, and energy, is that stuff, is, is the tone for that set by any one person? Or is that something that you guys have to come to collectively and figure out how to establish? Team, man. It's, it's all about our team effort. It, it, I could speak until I'm blue in the face. You know, somebody could yell out all the play calls, but it, it's really just the effort. Um, and we've learned that since... Everybody on this call, come on. We, we've been in fifth grade, fourth grade teaching defensive techniques, and now we're in the NBA, and we got to continue uh, with that development in order to be on the big stage. It, we have to do it. We have to commit on that. We have to commit on that end of the floor. We have to. So we will. Thanks so much, Kyrie. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it.